Welcome back to Facebook Live. Last time we talked about faith and dreams. I like that. If you haven't watched it, I suggest you go back and watch it. It's powerful. It's the word. It's powerful. And I want you to know you need to have faith-filled friends. I thank God for the many faith-filled friends that I have. They're wonderful. And Proverbs twenty-seven seventeen, I love this. You, as iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Who you surround yourself with is very important. If you have good friends, people around you who will grow your faith, you will become sharp. Let's look at an example in the Bible. If we look at 1 Kings 17, we see the story of Elijah and the widow. I love this story. You know, because it shows how we can be sharp. We see the two of them and its transformation. We all need faith-filled friends. Elijah was commanded by God to go and live with a widow, but she was concerned she didn't have enough food. In fact, when he asked her for some bread in verse 12, she said, As the Lord your God lives, I do not have bread. Only a handful of flour in a bin and a little oil in a jar. See, I'm gathering sticks for myself and my son so that we may eat it and die. Later, the woman's son became very sick and died. She approached, uh, approaches Elijah and says, you know, what happened? Hey, you're a man of God. What's going on here? So Elijah prayed for her son, stretched himself out over him, and he was healed. I mean, the Bible is a miracle book. I have found that from even being a child reading the Bible. 1 Kings seventeen twenty four. Then the woman said to Elijah, Now by this I know that you are a man of God, and that the word of the Lord in your mouth is the truth. Elijah was full of faith, and his faith brought miracles to the woman's household. That is wonderful. Faith-filled friends bring miracles in your life. I love that. And Elijah was full of faith, and his faith brought miracles to the woman's household. Faith-filled friends bring miracles in your life. You know you are a ministry full of faith, and we want to partner with you and believe that God is bringing miracles in your life. I want you to go on our website. Mm. Leave a prayer request. Do it right now. Don't put it off. We want to pray for you. Look at the disciples and Jesus. There is no one who is filled with more faith than Jesus. When they were in the boat on the Sea of Galilee and Jesus was sleeping, what did he say when he woke up? Why are you fearful? Oh, you have little faith. You think, well, look what's going on. <laughs> if we look at where the disciples started and who they turned into, oh, we see a transformation of faith. The disciples went into their own ministry and saw miracles. Oh, yes, and saw miracles. I believe God wants to bring more miracles and a big part of growing in your faith. Yes, I do. He is surrounding you with people of faith and you are doing the same. You're surrounding yourself with people of faith. I'm going to pray right now that God would send you a great, just a lot of faith friends and that you will see miracles and transformation in your life. Father, I thank you right now for these who are praying with me. I thank you for unusual miracles. 
I thank you that there will be miracles that shock even them. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.